In today's video, we are going to talk about 10 ways to increase humidity and temperature for your indoor tropical plants. Hello everyone, it's Nicole here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have followed me for a while, you probably have already noticed that I got my braces removed. Ah, oh, it was such a long time, long journey, and finally I got my braces removed about a couple weeks ago, and now I'm still wearing retainer full time. So you might be able to tell from time to time that my teeth area were kind of shiny because of the retainer. And uh, pretty soon I will be able to wear the retainer only in the evening. At the end of this video, I will insert a short clip of my braces removal. If you're curious, make sure you watch to the end. Anyways, back to our today's topic, I'm going to share 10 ways to increase humidity level and temperature level for your indoor tropical plants in winter. When your indoor plants don't get enough humidity and temperature in winter, the plants will look very, very sad. And I have an example that I can share with you. This is my <laughs> Begonia maculata YDI, lessons learned. So this plant requires kind of high humidity, but I did not provide the proper care for her last winter. If you look at this leaf, um, here is the brown edges and very, very crispy. It was from um, the low humidity damage from the winter last year. So this year, I'm definitely going to take another approach to keep the humidity level high for her and my other indoor plants. There are a lot of ways to increase humidity and temperature level. Um, some of them are quite expensive and some of them are pretty cheap. So let's talk about the easiest one. I have some notes um, on my phone, so I might look at my phone from time to time. The key of keeping the humidity level is to create a terrarium environment. So if you don't plan to spend a lot of money this winter, um, maybe an easy way is use a Ziploc bag. Make sure it does not have any color. And you can put your plant um, inside that Ziploc bag. Or you can use a plastic bag to cover your plant. The second way is misting your plants. Mist your plants multiple times per day. Remember, it's not per week, it's per day. It can help increase the humidity level temporarily. However, misting your plants will not help you increase the temperature level in that area. Number three, if you think keeping your plant in a Ziploc bag is too ugly, you can go to Amazon or go to Walmart or Target to get a grower container or just a clear plastic container. If you want my recommendation, I will put all the product links in the description box. Keeping some smaller plants in a grower containers will make the space look more organized for sure. However, instead of spending 10 cents on a Ziploc bag, you might be spending $5 or $10, $15 on a grower container. So the cost goes up. If you have some very sensitive plants or plants that require very high humidity level, such as Calathea, I strongly recommend you to put a pebble trays under your plants, but in a grower container or just keep your plant in a plastic bag if you want to save some money. Another very easy way to increase the temperature and humidity level for your indoor plants is to take your indoor plants to the shower room with you. 
of course you cannot really take all of them if especially when you have over a hundred plants so take some sensitive plants to the shower room with you after you shower keep the door shut or closed keep your plants in the shower room for another half an hour or an hour however this method can only increase the humidity level for your plant temporarily through my experiment last winter as long as i take this specific plant begonia maculata ydi to the shower room with me every day it stopped getting any brown edges and crispy leaves but if your plants way more sensitive or require way higher humidity level than begonia maculata ydi i strongly suggest you to use other methods if you are satisfied with the humidity level and you want to focus more on increasing the temperature in a more affordable way, um, you can put your plants to the top of the fridge in the kitchen if your kitchen gets enough lighting for your plant. The top of the fridge is usually warmer than the regular surface, so it acts as a heat mat. So we talk about the heat mat. Another way that you can do is purchase a seedling heat mat from Amazon. There are a lot of brands. Again, I will put some product links in the description box for you. If you have a plant shelf like mine, I strongly suggest you to get three to four seedling heat mat. Just simply place your plant on the top of a plastic, very thin plastic tray, and then put your plant on the tray and put the heat mat under the tray it can really help increase the temperature level especially if you place your plant shelf by the window because the temperature by the window is usually lower than our room temperature if you have a higher budget you can purchase a space heater or a radiator if you use a space heater or a radiator and you don't like to use a grower container or this kind of plastic bag i strongly suggest you to put a humidifier by your plants so that you can make sure the plants get enough humidity and get a humidity and or temperature monitor. This is the one that I use. It shows me the temperature level, the humidity level, and if you have a greenhouse or if you put your plants in a separate room, it can also monitor um, the temperature and humidity level and it is very handy. The next one is purchase a greenhouse for your plant. Like I mentioned earlier, to increase the humidity level and the temperature level for your plants, the key is to create that terrarium environment. So greenhouse is perfect. An indoor greenhouse is about $30 if you are not looking for a super fancy one, $30 for a, a medium-sized greenhouse. You can probably place about 15 to 20 medium size or smaller size plants inside the greenhouse but a greenhouse is usually not very good looking so if you don't like it you can use our more traditional way get a seedling heating pad or heat mat or purchase a humidifier get a radiator but the cost will also go up the last one is put your plants in a glass cabinet. I've seen a lot of people like to purchase the ones from IKEA. There are different prices. I've seen 169, 179 to 199. Depends on the size, the color, the material that you want. After you put your plants into the glass cabinet, you can put a smaller humidifier there. You can also put a seedling heating mat under the plants and you can also put a little fan um, to circulate the air inside the glass cabinet. And you can also install grow light in the glass cabinet. Again, it might be more expensive for you because you might have to run the grow light 24 seven, keep the fan on, keep the humidifier on for uh, many hours per day. The cost will go up. All right, above are the 10 ways to keep your house plants warm, hydrated, and happy in winter. Some of them are very affordable, no cost for you, but some of them might require a little bit money. <laughs> so just pick one, two, or three that would work the best for you. 
Anyways, I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have other ways to increase the humidity level and temperature level for your indoor plants, please leave me a comment. I really want to learn more from you. I'm also active on Instagram and Facebook, so feel free to follow me there. I post all of the behind the scene um, information. So if you want to learn more about me, please follow me on Instagram or Facebook. That's it for today's video. My name is Nicole. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye. My appointment is at 11, so it's about seven to eight minutes away. And I'm sitting in my car in the parking lot outside of the orthodontist office. Ah, I just cannot wait. It's going to be a great moment for me. <laughs> The reason why I chose to get braces after working for a few years is because I did not know I had overbite issue and the dentist told me if I don't get it fixed, I might lose some teeth on my back when I'm 50 or 60 year old and this sounds so scary. So yeah, that's why. And now it's about time and I'm going to head over there. If I can film some footage, I will share with you.